Hi everyone, this is All Outdoor One here with a little gear review. Um, today I'm looking at the uh, Zebralite SC30 flashlight torch. Um, yeah, it's a very compact little unit. Runs on CR123s, um, lithium batteries. Um, now, when I'm outdoors and uh, especially in cold weather, I prefer using uh, CR123 batteries or lithiums instead of uh, nickel metal hydride AAs or rechargeables because they just last a lot longer in the cold. I find the uh, run times uh, drop significantly, um, especially you know when it's below zero or even actually even below five degrees C. Um, you, you know you can get up to like 50%. Or even more, depending on the temperature, drops in a uh, in in output basically from your from your electronic equipment. Um, and you know, in, at night, you're obviously using a flashlight all the time. So uh, yeah, I just prefer to use uh, CR123s, as I said. Um, so anyway, CR123 torches are generally very compact. Obviously, the actual battery is smaller, shorter than an AA. Um, so you know you can just make smaller torches based around it. Now getting down to this torch, it's um, made from uh, high quality aluminium uh, with type 3 anodizing. It's waterproof and dustproof to IPX 6 and 8 standards. So yeah, as I said, IPX 6, 8 standard, uh, fully waterproof, O-ring sealed so using it in any weather won't be a problem and as it's lithium batteries as I said once again the cold doesn't affect it as much now as far as operation is concerned it's uh, I like the operation on this, it's very simple uh, it's all from one button so from an off position you simply if you want to come straight away into high mode you just press and let go and that will come instantly in high mode now from any mode to switch off you simply press it again and it switches off. If you want to come into low mode uh, f straight away you simply press and hold for one second 1000 as you can see um, it's now in, in the very low mode this is a 0.4 lumens um, which has a 21 day run time now I, I haven't come across many torches with a 21 day run time running from one battery, any battery. Um, so I thought that was quite impressive. Um, as I said once again from any mode to switch off you simply click. Um, to access uh, medium mode you press and hold and it will scroll through the different brightnesses. So you press and hold and now it's in medium mode and you just let go when it reaches the appropriate mode. If you just keep it down it will keep scrolling through the modes and then when, once you get to the one you want you just let go. Very simple operation. Um, so yeah it has three basic brightness settings um, but another great feature of this torch is that each of the three brightness set settings has two sub settings. So if we come into low mode as you can see there it's uh, that's 0.4 lumens. Um, now to change w modes within any brightness setting you double click so now it's in low mode if you double click it it goes up to the secondary low mode or the primary low mode depending on how you have it organized um, now the brightness of this I'll just have a look here is um, four lumens so um, yeah, so basically your low mode can either be uh, 0.4 lumens, sorry that's 0.4 lumens, or it can be 4 lumens. Uh, now as I said, the uh, 0.4 lumens will give you a 21 day run time, and the 4 lumens will give you a 3.7 day run time, let's say 3.5 days. Um, yeah, and as far as brightness is concerned, the 0.4 lumen mode, which is the very lowest setting that this torch has, 
it's good for like at night time in complete darkness you can see kind of a meter or two around you um, basically it's for very up close work um, if you're doing something with your hands and you're wearing this as a head torch which is uh, my main reason for buying this was as a head torch um, then you know with the 0.4 lumens you can pretty much see what you're doing now the 4 lumens mode that's kind of uh, you know give you a probably four or five meter beam um, and if you're like walking around your campsite at night time anything along those lines this is just about enough light to navigate by if you're trying to remain a bit stealthy <clears throat> so that's um, that's the low modes now the medium mode um, as I said to access you simply push and hold and let go now the medium mode has two settings also 38 lumens or 21 lumens uh, this is the 21 lumens now and that will run for 23 hours now this is enough light to walk by at night you know if the if the conditions aren't too bad and it's a clear night um, <clears throat> then you can actually navigate by this without any problem and uh, you know if you just want a couple of extra meters throw on it you've got the uh, medium 38 lumens mode and uh, I usually use that for walking around to be honest um, which gives you a 12 hour run time uh, but you know if you're trying to preserve batteries the 21 lumens mode will run for 23 hours and that's you know you can as I said you can walk around with this <coughs> so that's the uh, low and medium modes and now we come into the high mode which as I said is uh, reached by simply pushing once and letting go quickly that's the uh, high mode uh, this is the lower of the two high mode settings this is a hundred and five lumens and it will run for two hours in this setting that's very bright you know it's good for about say about 30 meters uh, definitely plenty of light to walk around by at night um, you know, you can see everything coming pretty much with this level of light. And then finally, double click in the high mode, and now you've gone onto the 193 lumens. Yep, that's the 193 now. And that will run for 0.9 hours. So, not a very long run time on the super high. But I assure you, the 193 lumens. Um, you know, I don't really need that much brightness from a headlamp. I I rarely use it. If I want to see something further away, I use um you know a handheld torch, which has a better throw on it. This has a <coughs> excuse me. This has an orange peel reflector, so it gives you a nice diffused beam at a loss of uh, throwing distance. Obviously, a smooth reflector will give you a bigger throw. <clears throat> the heat sinking on this is excellent as you can see these um, bars running along here help dissipate the heat from the LED will never overheat has a decent pocket clip it's very strong uh, one negative when you put the pocket clip on unfortunately due to this being quite uh, quite sharp sided in fact um, it can kind of rip your clothes slightly so I wouldn't personally use it unless you're, you've got very tough denim unless you're wearing tough denim or some kind of thicker material like that uh, <coughs> pocket clip can be removed as you can see there are two screws there uh, just simple Phillips and uh, you can just unscrew them easily if you don't want the pocket clip as I said can also be used as a head torch does come with a headband in which you insert this and you can wear it as a head torch as I said does um, it's included in the package um, another nice little feature about this light is if you you know the button it activates very easily you can press it very lightly and it comes on so uh, to combat that you can uh, simply untwist the head slightly 
like so and now the torch is still watertight but will not activate so it's a nice little safety feature so you, you've you always got lighting when you need it um, does stand up freely and uh, can be used as a you know kind of desktop light in that capacity everyone just a couple of things I forgot to mention um, the weight of this is 30 grams without the battery so 1.1 ounces um, the lens is shot ultra clear lens with anti-reflection coatings on both sides uh, so you know cuts down on glare basically if you're using it in uh, hunting or tactical situations um, can be used as a headlamp also which is my main use of this is is as a headlamp um, yeah a couple of beam shots just so you know what it looks like at a distance sorry I just I had it unscrewed still um, there we go so not a very well defined center beam uh, nicely diffused and uh, this this one comes with a natural uh, tint to it so it's um, similar to daylight um, it's known as cool white um, but you know it brings out colors pretty re realistically yeah but generally I think it's uh, feels like a very well made torch solid so far haven't had any problems with it whatsoever I've used it on about five six occasions now and it's uh, lasting me well <coughs> excuse me it's also um, impact resistant to um, military spec standard and um, function wise I think it's uh, perfect doesn't have a strobe function but I don't really need a strobe function on a head torch doesn't have a super far throw probably good for about 50 meters or so 60 meters as I said it's a it's more of a area light uh, rather than a far thrower <clears throat> it's an American company uh, zebra light um, I think they're based in Texas I believe it is uh, made in China but the um, quality control seems to be pretty good as I can say I've, I haven't been able to find any faults with this whatsoever and uh, I get the feeling it will last me a long time so uh, that's my review of the Zebra Light SC30 flashlight or torch as we say in the UK and um, I hope you guys find that useful if you're looking for a super reliable high quality headlight then this is the one for you I would say um, yep that's all out door one signing out Take care. Bye-bye.